So um, yeah, I'm out uh, walking. I've just made a little pitch video for uh, my new thing, which is a creative collaboration journal called uh, Tuttle Moonfly, which is going to come out every uh, moon, every full moon. Uh, so the first one's on the 14th of December 2016. If you're watching this in the future, you've already missed it. Um, but uh, yeah, that's what I'm. Uh, that's what I'm about. So I'm. I'm just uh, just out for a little walk and thinking about that and thinking about what I'm really thinking about. Um, yeah, let's get down to it. <laughs> what I'm really what I'm really thinking about is how much I miss the Centre for Creative Collaboration. Um, it was a great space that we had from uh, the end of 2000, well, no, beginning of 2010 uh, until the end of 2014. So I've been thinking about that and just thinking about how that's what I miss. I, I, I don't just miss it because it's, um, it, it's a useful space for me to run events. Uh, it was a great place for me to, uh, to run Tuttle. It was a great place for me to meet other people and expand my horizons um, but it was just um, it was a lovely place uh, and it was it was a it was a good thing for us to have it was a good resource for us to have um, a bit of infrastructure uh, to help things happen so I miss it um, and I know I, I know Brian misses it um, Brian Condon who was the director there uh, I'm sure other people miss it too. Uh, and I'm just thinking of the ways in which we can create it again without necessarily having uh, a physical space. Um, I mean, we may use, maybe we'd use somebody else's space for a, a period. Somebody would be uh, maybe some sort of collaboration partner with, with the centre uh, and the deal there would be that they gave us some space. Um, let's see. I don't know. Uh, it just feels to me like next year is the year when we need creative collaboration more than ever. And for London to not have a space like that, for London to only have spaces where um, there are big barriers to entry and big barriers to collaboration, uh, which is yeah, what we've what we've got a lot of the time. You know, most of the co-working spaces we've got are are great and lovely places if you're running a business and you know what you're going to do uh, and you've got some money behind you. Um, but for the kind of thing that we need, which is the kind of stuff that starts projects off, that gets things off the ground, it's really difficult uh, because. There isn't, there isn't the kind of free space, and I mean free. I don't just mean free in, in the uh, in the sense of free beer. I mean, you know, free in the sense of free speech. Um, there aren't that many spaces, and the ones that we do have are have other things wrong with them. So, um, yeah, I think uh, the the thing is that we had a community there. We have a community which has continued, it lived on anyway, uh, and I think we just need to give, it, give that community a little bit more of more support and a bit more uh, oomph. So one of the ways I'm exploring that is of course by, by working collaboratively and, um, and making this thing um, which I'm uh, going to put on Patreon sometime today or tomorrow when I get home. Okay, see ya before it gets dark. Ooh.